Have you got acne and dark spots but no money for expensive skincare products? This week I'm going to be wearing a turmeric mask every day to see if it clears up my acne or my dark spots. If you're interested, continue watching. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be using a turmeric mask for seven days to see, you know, if it gets rid of dark spots, help me clear my acne, just to see what really happens, yeah. Alright, so you only need three ingredients, you need powdered milk, warm water and obviously turmeric. So what you want to do is you want to take like a teaspoon of powdered milk, add some water, let it dissolve a bit, then just add like a pinch of turmeric, you don't want to add too much. Um, but you mix it up, you want to get like a bit of a pasty consistency so then put it in the fridge for a while, let it get a bit cold then you can start to apply it to your face These are my before pictures and yeah, we'll just see what happens First off, happy Sunday everyone, hope you're having a blessed day, you enjoy the church service and all that jazz. I just want to say when it comes to applying the mask, like you really don't have to do what I'm doing and like use your fingers, you could always use like a makeup brush that you're not using or something like that. You could even use like a plastic spoon. I tried using it, it's just kind of inconvenient for me, but if that works for you, go ahead. Lastly, I would recommend using like a newspaper bib like I'm wearing and wear like an old shirt that you don't care about because turmeric stains so easily and it's a pain in the behind to get out. Alright, so I have been able to put on the mask. Um, one thing I have noticed is like when you put it on your face, like once the, the face mask dries, like your skin feels like tight. Like it feels like... Like it feels like baby Botox, not well I actually don't know what baby Botox feels like but I would imagine like it just feels like your skin is tight and it's like hard to kind of move your facial muscles, just not muscles but like your skin itself. Anyways. Okay so you guys have taken it off my face, oh my gosh, hands my face, my face looks ridiculously moist right now, oh my, it looks so moist and it's like, so I left the mask on for like 20 minutes, it's like ridiculously hard to wash off okay not ridiculously but it's a bit hard to wash off anyways we're gonna this is the look this is the face it's giving yeah but um we're just gonna do it for this whole week and we'll, i'll see how it goes i'll keep you guys posted okay bye happy tuesday everyone okay so it's tuesday you know what that means it's day two of putting the mask on i'm actually kind of excited i haven't seen like like terribly huge results but I mean it's only day two so I'm trying to keep a positive mindset and yeah put on the mask now <laughs> not gonna toot my own horn but I think I'm putting this off <laughs> I look like the yellow version of the Lorax let me step closer yeah you can see the yellow on my face I looked like the yellow version of the Lorax because the Lorax was orange, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was orange. He had a yellow moustache. He was bald. I have hair. Anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think for the mask I made this week, guys, I put like way too little water. So like, like I said, even on Sunday, like the mask, once it dries, it tightens your skin. But this one is giving me ultra super mega tight, like wedgy on your bum kind of tight that I just, I can't handle. Okay guys, so I've washed the mask off and I have put moisturizer on my face. One thing I will say is like the most dreaded part of using the mask for me is just having to wash it off. Like it's such, it's a nightmare to wash off. Like I really don't enjoy it. Like it gets like in my hair, it stains my nails and my fingers because I don't use like an applicator brush. But I won't complain too much because I'm hoping to reap the benefits of the mask. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Happy Thursday, everyone. Please ignore my wrinkle chat. So today's day three of putting the turmeric mask on. Um, but I have started to see results. Maybe it's just me and it's no one else. But genuinely, like the dark spot, the dark spots on my cheeks clearing up a bit, which I am actually quite happy about, even though it's only been like a few days. So yay for me. But yeah, let's get to putting the mask on. So I've put on the mask, and not gonna lie, I think I'm rocking this. I think, I think it's giving. <laughs> no, but like on a serious note. 
I've put on like a thinner layer of the mask, like a thinner coat, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know if you guys notice. You probably don't. But I put on like a thinner like coat layer, whatever you want to call it, because the mask is about to finish and I cannot be asked to make another one. Because the video ends on like Saturday anyways, like two days. I really can't be bothered. But yeah. On a completely random note that doesn't even relate to the video. I have recently been watching loads of like going like um Miami horror story times like when people go to go on like a holiday like, like um summer holidays with their friends to like places like Miami, Malta, just places in Europe or America. They go as friends, they come back as enemies. I've seen way too many of those story times. And you know the consistent pattern in every single one. It's so obvious that those people are red flags, that they're bad vibes before they go on the holiday. But you still choose to go on the holiday with such red flag, bad vibes people. Then you come back and you wonder, oh, why didn't this friendship work out? Why do you think? Anyways, I'll come back when I wash it off. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I've taken off the mask. Wait, this lighting is it's making it look like my skin is glowing. Purr. Purr. So I took off the mask and my skin feels like I'm usually like smooth, like soft. I can't complain, I really like the feeling. It's quite nice, it's quite nice. And I did put on the mask quite early, it's like 10.50. So I feel ready to like conquer the day and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's quite nice. Guess I'll see you guys on Saturday, the last day of the challenge and we'll see how my skin's looking then. Okay, see you guys on Saturday, bye. Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. Okay, so today is the last day of the challenge. Okay, so um, I will be putting my after pictures, um, I'll be posting them on the screen, like um, when I take off the turmeric mask. Um, so yeah, that'll probably be like towards the end of the video. Uh, I just wanna say I actually have seen results like um, concerning like the acne on my forehead and the dark spots and even pimples on my cheeks, I really have seen quite a change since Sunday, which is something I am really, really happy about. Um, I do also want to add though, that I went on like a mini sort of diet. I kind of cut sugar, not sugar, I cut candy out of my diet. Um, even though it was only two days ago, I've seen like a really big change in like the acne on my forehead especially, because I don't know if it's just me, probably isn't just me, um, but candy makes me break out quite easily, like, like quite easily, like it just happens and I still eat it because I mean well it's sweet But yeah, I did decide to cut it out because I was like, okay, let's just see what happens and there has been quite a big change So just wanted to mention that for anyone who's Thinking about making that change temporarily um, Yeah, so let's let's get to putting the mask on So I've got to put on the mask and may I just, I managed, I just man, I just managed to put this on my face. It was this close to finishing. You know, the devil really does not want to see me succeed. Like I actually thought I wouldn't be able to put on my face today, but I was able to do it. It was a very, it's a very thin coat though. If you see how I managed to put this thing on my face, it was a, it was a, it's a struggle mask today. Yeah. <laughs> I will say this, I've gotten really used to like, how it tightens your face like when you put it on and then dries the first time it happened I was like oh my gosh I was so dramatic I was like oh my gosh my face I can't move my face oh my gosh but now it's kind of like a normal feeling yeah anyways okay guys so I have taken off the mask um it's the last that I'm going to be using it this week they said well they recommended to use it only four times a week so I have um what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the after pictures, like the results, kind of like of the mask on the screen. And I think I'll put the before and after pictures side to side, just like to see the progression and how it's looking, what has changed and everything. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do make sure to comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. And if maybe you've used this mask and you've seen results, please make sure to comment down below what your experience was with it. Um, also, if you guys have any like skincare tips concerning how to clear acne and dark spots, please do not feel afraid to share. We're all skincare sisters and brothers now. 
yeah okay um i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys